A lot of you guys were requesting me to make a video on how to flash the original firmware on Mi Band 3. So a lot of you guys were having the problem of flashing the custom firmware and after that you want to go back to the original firmware but you were not able to do so. So in this video I will show you guys how you can go ahead and flash the original firmware or the official firmware on Mi Band 3. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So for installing the official firmware on your Mi Band 3, what you have to do is you have to go to a website that is Geek Doing Forum website. I have given the link in the description so you have to download two files from this website. The first one is the resources file, the second one is the firmware file. So you have to download one by one. So you can click out the link which is in the description and you can head over to the website. After going to the website just select the firmware from there. You have to check out which is the latest version over here. So in my case it is the latest version so I am selecting it over here. So you have to select the latest version from the website the firmware version and when you select the firmware version you will get written over there how to use this firmware with the resources version so you have to download the resources file along with it which is compatible with it so you have to download the firmware file so you have downloaded the firmware file on your phone now you have to download the resources file from the website so how you will do that just click on the description link and you will head over to the resources file so after downloading the resources file the compatible resources file in my case it's resources version 49 so you have to download this resources file after downloading this resources file you have downloaded the files the two component files that is the resources file and the firmware file mostly needed for the firmware flashing now you have to download one gadget bridge application from the play store so you have to open play store and search over there gadget bridge you will find the application i have already installed it on your phone that's why it is not going to show me install you have to install this application after installing this application just open this application after touching on the plus button you have to wait till the band get discovered after the band get scanned so it will show you to touch the capacity button for once to get paired so you have to touch the capacity button for once so that it can get paired and that's it when you paired it with gadget bridge application now you have to go to home and you have to navigate to the file that you have downloaded on your phone the file is the resources file and the firmware file you have to flash these two files so these files are very compulsory for firmware flashing and we have downloaded the official firmware it is not modded by any developer and it is quite good and it doesn't have any type of bugs or something like that in it so what you have to do is just navigate to the files first of all flash the firmware file on your Mi Band 3 so touch on the firmware file you will get asked to touch on the handling application select the firmware installer provided by the gadget bridge application to install the firmware when you touch on the storm firmware the firmware flashing will get started on your Mi Band 3 it will take a little bit of time so you have to wait for that. After the firmware flashing gets done successfully, you will see the band get restarted. Don't worry now. You will think what happened my band is not working, it is not showing anything. Nothing gonna happen. Only the thing is the band got restarted and it will took around 40 to 50 seconds to get recover up or get restarted or rebooted up. When you see the band got rebooted and you guys can see here the band is showing you the information on the screen. Yeah, that's it. Now you have to go to the resources file to just flash it in. That's the theme file that you guys have just modified on the previous custom firmware versions like Avengers theme and all the other things that you have used on your Mi Band 3. Now what you have to do is just select the resources file and do the same process that we have done earlier while flashing the firmware file select it as a handling application firmware installer with gadget bridge application and install it on your mi band 3 after when you successfully done everything now you guys can see here the band has got the new firmware or the old firmware the official firmware on mi band 3 so yeah that's it for the video guys if you like this video give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this catch you guys later on next kind of video if you have any further more queries definitely let me know in the comment section below till then a peace out and bye bye